let's take the statement heard in the previous episode that a computer program is a set of instructions understandable to a machine and add that we write in a programming language understandable to a computer. This is a useful way of thinking at this point, but the statement is not entirely true. In episode 6 of the series, I will explain what I mean by this. However, if we want to start writing this list of instructions on a computer, we have a wide selection of different programming languages that we can use. C, C++, C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, Ruby, Python, PHP, Swift. Let's talk about why there are so many of them, but again, we will not focus on any of these languages. We have some older languages like C, some new ones like Swift, some languages that are very popular now like Ruby, C Sharp and Python, Java, and some other languages that used to be popular but aren't anymore like Algol. And you'll notice a few things. Some programming languages seem to be written in all uppercase letters, some in all lowercase letters, some use a lot of symbols, braces, and semicolons everywhere, some don't, but you don't have to worry about remembering any of these details, it's not necessary at the moment, it's not important, because we don't use them to find out what's true about one particular language, we want to know what's true about programming in general. And the first truth is that to start writing a computer program, writing instructions in any of these programming languages is easier than many people think. It is not necessary to download and install many special applications on your computer. We can write these instructions in plain text, which means we only need the simplest text editor available, such as Notepad and Windows. Programmers don't use word processors like Word because we don't need formatting. We don't use bold or italic fonts because the programming language doesn't care about the appearance of the text, it just wants plain text. Regardless of the programming language, there is another term you will use to refer to programming language instructions written in plain text. We simply call this term source code. And when a developer tells you that they spent all day coding or all day writing code, they mean writing source code. Let me explain something. I said that you don't need any special software to write this source code, and that's true, but you often need it to speed up your work. There are applications you can install on your computer that will make your life easier. Most developers don't just use plain notepad. We have specialized editors designed for programmers that add things like syntax highlighting color coding, and they can help correct simple programming errors in the same way a word processor can help with capitalization. There are many such editors available today, different for different languages and different operating systems. We'll dive deeper into this later in the course. 